Hello everyone, it's Kay back again. I've got the finished item from the uh, previous video that I've just done, but I will go through what I've done to decorate the stationery box. The beautiful yellow ribbon came in very handy. I also found the Italian Options Organza, also from Handy Hippo, which is just absolutely brilliant to work with. That was in a previous design team package and also some baby's breath which I was sent via Handy Hippo. I've used this punch from Handy Hippo which is the Martha Stewart, um, oh my word I've forgotten the name of it, it's a leaf stem anyway and the tacky glue, Aileen's tacky glue for sticking purposes. I'm going to find that box for the, no sorry I should it's it's a leaf punch anyway, Martha Stewart. Everything that you see here, apart from things like the little doodad, has come from Handy Hippo, www.handyhippocrafts.co.uk. Now this is the stationery box in all its glory. This in effect is the back and I've just used, you'll see how many of the stick-offs I've used from the sheet. Um, I've just used these to decorate the back just to take focus off these side panels here. I've not decorated the front at all because when the stationary box is open this of course lays flat on whatever surface you're working on. So without further ado we'll carry on. I've left borders around each and every piece that has been decorated. I've maintained the white from the underlay that I used, then the denim blue American card craft card, and then the paper from the Bow Bunny paper stack. Oops, and it's all opened up here. Um, and what I've done inside, because I've got white showing, I've left areas of whiteness, but only small areas of whiteness, just to marry up all of the colours that you see within this little box. I've anchored down the um, belly band as I said to you, just kept it plain in the denim American card stock and the calendar I've just stuck a little band on here which will then sit inside the belly band and as I said to you if you keep your belly band approximately around the centre of that bottom page then all of these things fit really really beautifully. I've made a little pocket here, um, I've got something small enough that you could put postage stamps into, decorated the front of the little jotting book and with that I used the narrower of the Anita's ribbon and it's a polka dot effect so it's really really pretty. A little doodad from my stash the pen is anchored down in a little swirl here and all you do is wrap the um, card around the thickest point or card or paper of your pen so that as you put it in it all slops in quite nicely and stays where you want it to be. And then in this little corner here I've made some of the little 3x3 three three cards. Needless to say I've got to do the um, envelopes for them but I did want to get this up and finished today and these are all using the stick offs, little bits of card, little bits of ribbon, some heart punch outs which I think you'll agree are quite effective and they sit in that little pocket with four here. I think you'd probably get six cards in all plus the envelopes into this little box. In this box I've made some just ordinary basic tags. Oops, that's stuck on there. Sorry about that. Try and peel it off. Just three little tags there. Clearly you can make as many as you want in any style that you want. This is just to give you the idea of how well the stationery box works really. I've left these plain because otherwise it's all the paper all the way through and I don't think that looks out of the way. In, I've got to take these envelopes out, they're a tad too large 
for the back packet pocket but what I've done here is just used another Martha Stewart punch in the heart effect just to decorate up and lift out some of the whiteness that would be there. It's pointless decorating inside these boxes and so on because it really isn't to be seen. And then I've made the six, these are A6 cards, which is a half of an A4 sheet folded in half again. And I've just used the stickers to best advantage. Um, some of the baby's breath just to lift it up. A couple of the doodads in the corner there for that one. I'll put it down there. The second one I did again on the, in the same principle is the jug with the sticker, all very very plain because to maximise the effect of, of keeping cards, the storage and so on, you can't afford for them to be too heavily embellished because it will, will reduce what you can actually put in your little container there. i move these all back so you can see. Um, and then the, th the third card that I made again is the stickers with the punches. I've tried to keep a theme going, tried to keep marrying things up so that it all looks as though it's supposed to be part of the set, but needless to say, these are the bits that would come down to your individual taste. I've used the bow bunny papers. I've actually got loads and loads of it left, so I will do some more projects with it. It is an absolute dream to work with. It really, really is. I'm just spotting glue sticks here and everything. But the main thing to remember is once you've got your box built, if you want to decorate it as you go along, then do by all means do so for the purposes of the video, for the purposes of saving time. I tried to do everything as quickly and effectively as I could. If there are any questions, do contact me or indeed Handy Hippo if it's about supplies um, at the bottom of the video here and we will each of us get back to you as soon as we possibly can. So I hope this has been inspirational to you. Um, really and truly, the products that you use are not huge amounts. It's been a blessing working with the 12 by 12 paper stack because I've been able to cut it down. But in actuality, any paper stack, any decorative papers will all come to the same effect at the end of the day. So just remember to leave your borders when you're putting down your matting and layering and that amounts to about an eighth of an inch border on this kind of thing so you've got your main mat on top of the white and then about an eighth of an inch all the way around and that just keeps everything looking quite uniform and quite tidy it is a, a considerable project, it does take a little time to do, but I think you'll agree with me at the end of the day, it's well worth the effort, especially if you've got somebody in mind that you would love to give a gift like this to. So thank you very much for sharing it all with me. I'll just put the lid in there like that so you can see it. This again, you can decorate to your heart's content for the purpose of, of the video and using the products supplied um, for the sponsorship of this video, then I've tried to do my very best with using what I've been given. So I hope, as I say, you feel inspired and you would like to give this project a, a try yourselves. It really is a lovely thing to put together. Thank you very much. Take care for now. Happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye.